can you? There's so many of you who have requested uncut, unedited videos from me doing uh, public speaking tips. So I thought, hey, why not? Maybe that can work on YouTube. We'll see. I've prepared two for you now. We'll start by launching the first one on storytelling and then a second one on storytelling. I know the stuff in them will blow your mind and change your life, but we'll see if the uncut and unedited versions work. I hope you're with me to get blown away and learn the most powerful skill there is. I'd like to take the time to blow your mind with just giving you an insight in how powerful storytelling really is. Because it can change your life. No, no, no. I know it'll change your life. I'd like to take you back to 2009 to just give you an insight in how powerful it is. You see, there was a man, a journalist by his profession by the name Rob Walker. He was baffled by the idea that somebody paid $1.5 million for the red leather jacket that Michael Jackson wore in the movie Thriller, whilst a similar jacket in a thrift shop, well, maybe you'd pay $50 for it. Max, how on earth can this one be worth so much more than this one? Storytelling. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. Because Michael Jackson was nothing more to you than a story through all the news and the videos and everything that you saw around it. He was a story. And attaching the story of Michael Jackson to the jacket increased its value by immense amounts. But you see, Rob, Rob, he was not happy there. He wanted to prove how this actually worked. So what he did was a very interesting experiment. He walked over to his computer, logged in. He purchased 200 random objects from eBay. The only prerequisite was that they were around a dollar each. And then he sat down, he called an author up and he said, hey, I'd like to launch the significant object study. And I was wondering, would you mind writing a story to one of these objects? And the author said, yeah, yeah. Sounds interesting. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. And that particular object was this beautiful horse's head. Purchased for 99 cents. Isn't it beautiful? Sensual. You want it. You crave it, don't you? Well, for some reason, people started craving it. You see, what Rob then did was he called 199 authors, asked them all to come in and write a story to one of the 200 objects. And one day he had 200 objects and 200 stories, 200 objects and 200 stories. And I assume that it was with nail-biting anticipation that he walks over to his computer on the day where he's supposed to publish all the objects again on eBay to see if there's going to be a difference or not. So he logs in publish this then. And this particular horse said, do you think the value increased? You're damn right it did. The value went from 99 cents to $62.95. And if you're quick in maths, you know that that is a slight increase difference of 6,258%. Are you hearing me? 6,258% based on one thing and one thing only, and that is adding a story to the service, the product. <laughs> well, then you may say, yes, 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 but what happened to the other 199 objects? Maybe this one was different. No, 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 no. This happened. Purchased all the 200 objects for $129 and sold them for $8,000. Obviously, this is the definition of fraud, so they had to turn the money back. But at the end of the day, what it showed was that if you add a story to a product, it increases its value by thousands of percent. So I'm asking you this. Do you have a service? Maybe do you have a product which you want others to buy into? Well, if you associate a story to your company, to your product, to your service, you may increase its value by thousands of percent. Hmm. But a second thing I want you to take with you is this. You are a product in yourself, aren't you? A product that you want to sell to your friends, to maybe a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Uh, in interviews, you are kind of a product. You can see yourself as a product, as a service. And what I want you to take you with you from that is this. That the stories you share is who you become.
Human beings, other human beings will never know who you truly are. They will know you through the stories that you share. So when I share stories on Instagram and TikTok and LinkedIn, I choose the stories that reflect who I am, my true passions in life, because that is who I want people to see. That is the trick. Choose the stories you want to be associated to and it'll make a difference in your life. Are we done there? Not really. I want to give you a third and last tip, and that is this. You may say that you're not a storyteller, and I say the opposite. You are. You tell stories in your head every single day, hundreds of them. You tell stories about your past, about your future, about your presence, in who you are. You take something that's happened far, far back in time, and you start meddling around with it. Oh, why did they leave me? Oh, why did that happen? <gasps> Wonder what that will be when that happens in the future. When will I be rich? Why don't I get a career? You tell stories in your head constantly. Now imagine this. The better storyteller you are in your head, the more you can improve as a human being. Because I know that the people who tell the positive stories in their head about their future, about their past and about their present, are the people who succeed best and most in life. So I so dearly hope that I have inspired you to start attaching stories to your product, services and your company and yourself to, to make a copy of who you are and become better at storytelling in here. Finally and conclusively, become a storyteller. There is no skill in life which is more persuasive. Goodbye.